Time now for our community update. Joining us in studio this morning is the Appleton Police Department's Captain of Investigations and Support Services, Captain Mike Wallace. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, you've been getting a lot of complaints around school zones. What kinds of problems are you seeing? Well, most commonly we're dealing with concerns about speeding in the school zones and also parents double parking during drop-off and pick-up times. Has it been increasing? Yeah, uh, with warmer weather coming, uh, we anticipate an increase in pedestrian and bicycle activity in the school zones. Uh, we still have a few months left of school, so we'd uh, really need our citizens' help to ensure that our, our crossing guards and our students uh, have the ability to get to and from school safely. Our officers are aware of the concerns and uh, we'll be addressing violations in those areas. Okay, the violations, what type of fines can people get? Sure, for parking violations, uh, those fines can start at about $40. Uh, for speeding violations in the city of Appleton, uh, those citations start at $175 and can increase from there uh, based on speed and other circumstances that are present. So they're not cheap. You also see problems with traffic on College Avenue. What types of problems do you have there? Sure. The complaints we most often encounter uh, deal with speeding or reckless driving in that area uh, and the noise generated by that kind of uh, driving activity. Um, there's also safety concerns with incidents and near misses in the area because of the higher volume of pedestrians and bicycles and now uh, scooters in that area um, with vehicles in that area due to the higher traffic volume. So what is the department doing about that? Well, uh, the, cur the city currently has a, a proposal for an 18-month mm -hmm. pilot program that would affect College Avenue between Richmond and Drew Street. Uh, under the proposal, College Avenue in that area would transition from the four lanes that it currently is to three lanes. That would be one traffic lane in each direction and then a center turn lane for vehicles to turn left off of College Avenue. The plan does also add bike lanes um, and maintains that on-street parking that we're accustomed to downtown. So now, how can this help with safety? So this plan is not something new. Uh, it's mm -hmm. been used in the past and has shown significant reduction in crashes. Um, and the cutting down of the lanes will allow us to reduce traffic speed and some of that noise that's generated by that uh, faster moving traffic. Now, do you think it'll help because you will have a turn lane so you're not going to have backed up traffic also? Yeah, I think we've all encountered uh, incidents if you travel down College Avenue where you get stuck behind that vehicle turning left with two oncoming lanes. Mm -hmm. uh, this, should, this should make that process much easier. Now this isn't a done deal. No, the, the plan for the proposal still needs to go before council and, and receive final approval. I think that uh, if it would be approved that citizens could expect to see changes in the fall or summertime. Oh wow, that's soon. Now you have a new bike registration program. Tell us about it. Yeah, we've recently started encouraging our citizens to use a free online website to register their bicycles so that in their event they're stolen, we can hopefully get them back to them more quickly. What, why is this needed? Do you have a lot of bike thefts in the area? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, especially during the summer months, uh, we do take a lot of bike theft reports. And often what we find is that cyclists don't have the serial number of the bike uh, present with them when we're taking that report. And that identifying information is critical to us in, in being able to return bikes. Um, so as... Uh, as we take these abandoned bikes throughout the city, it's often difficult to return those bikes to the rightful owners. So, and this is free registration, right? They yeah. can just register right online? Absolutely free. Um, and it, it's not required for citizens to register their bike to operate in the city mm -hmm. of Appleton. We simply think it would be a good idea for people to use it so that we can hopefully get their property back to them in the event that something bad would happen. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you.